Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications about our RoboLinux video tutorials. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you. Hi everyone, John Martinson here, founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo. Everyone else does. RoboLinux has released its fourth brand new Series 10 operating system, LXDE version 10.1 long-term support 2023 sporting the 4.15 linux kernel loaded with a plethora of enhancements and improvements this is by far the most polished lightning fast nimble best looking and performing lxte operating system that robo linux has ever produced since it was founded in 2011. This new RoboLinux LXDE 10.1 version also has free built-in Stealth VM, free C drive to VM, free one-click app installers, and provides our users with free expert tech support. As usual, the LXDE version 10.1 has our users' favorite apps already installed. I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our brand new LXDE version 10.1 Series 10 operating system in a few minutes. It is very critical that I remind you to please support RoboLinux with just a dollar or two a month pledge on Patreon. If every RoboLinux user does this, then I can continue giving you everything I have created for you for free, including expert tech support. Please treat RoboLinux as if it were your company. It pretty much is since everything we have goes to you for free. Thank you. So here is how easy it is for you to uh, make a dollar or two pledge to uh, RoboLinux on our Patreon account. Um, just go to RoboLinux.org. Uh, you'll find it in the About. You see the orange button here? You can click it. It'll take you here. And you just simply go over here and click Become a Patreon. And if you want to, you could do it from the Install page. You can do it from the Contact and FAQ page. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that we have really streamlined our download page. Um, you're not going to find the Patreon request there. In fact, we've streamlined it to the point where it's just nothing but downloads and very short announcements and buttons to click where everything is for free with no more screens popping up asking you to donate any money. So um, this, is, uh, this is a request and uh, it's very important. Um, so thank you very much please visit patreon.com forward slash RoboLinux and become a patron. Thank you. And here's the brief tour of our brand new LXDE version 10.1. So the first thing you're going to notice is uh, hopefully you'll see the $10 gift from me. Um, we actually will be accepting uh, Bitcoin on our site but it's getting very popular and if you sign up here for free you get ten dollars worth of Bitcoin for free so I'd suggest that you do that um, the other thing you'll see is if you click over here on Robo's free stealth VM C drive to VM and app installers you're gonna to go to the page it'll remind you again about the free ten dollar gift um, you'll see everything here with no donate buttons you know no pages coming up asking you to make any donations even though we really need them um, so let's say, for example, that I want to get Stealth VM for this. Um, I'm, I'm running Series 10, so I'd click here. And so I'm going to look for Series 10. There it is. And I simply go down here. There we ask you to please support us on Patreon. Um, and I'm going to pick uh, LXDE because that's what I'm running, Series 10. And I'm going to simply go down here and click the Download button. And you want to save the file and it's going to go into your downloads folder okay and that's it it's that easy all right now let's go through the menu um, it's really quite simple and uh, streamlined um, and it's using uh, very low overhead uh, icons which make it snappy and super fast you'll notice in the accessories you're going to find all of the important accessories that you need calculator disks so you can look at your disks and do certain things with them got your image viewer 
One of the things that I've always believed in is giving people a choice of editors. Uh, the standard one is LeafPad for the LXDE platform. MEdit is absolutely wonderful. Plume is one of my favorites, especially when you're going to be running a uh, server, which I'm going to show you in a second, which is one of the big improvements on this 14.15 this, uh, yeah, 14 kernel. Um, if you were to go to the file manager, notice how fast it pops up. In fact, let's pop about, mm, let's say five of them up, you know, what, you know, like that. Okay. So it's, I mean, you're talking about a super fast system here that'll blow your mind. Um, so we're going to go ahead and load the, the file manager. You, you simply go to the go at the top and connect to a server. And of course, one of the beautiful things here is you can select SSH. And if you do select SSH, you then can do SFTP, which I certainly recommend over anything FTP. Um, and you can set your port. And of course, host is the IP address and the path. And you can log in as whatever you like. Um, I'd log in as root because that's what I do. Um, so that's really a big plus. Now, let's look at what applications come uh, standard uh, as usual with all the Series 10 versions. Um, we have under here graphics, um, what you'd expect, uh, PDF viewer. We've got GIMP, which is a must. Um, I don't know if you really need LibreOffice Draw, but that auto installs when we install um, LibreOffice. Shotwell for your photos and simple scan if you've got a scanner. Under the internet, you can go quickly here to my $10 gift. Um, from time to time, the announcements will change in here. Um, you just click here and it'll automatically take you to whatever a new announcement is on some gift or something that I'm offering you for free. Deluge, which is by far the best uh, BitTorrent, blows transmission away. Firefox really, um, you know, it's it's a necessity unless you want to use, um, oh, you could use Vivaldi. Um, you can also install um, Opera. Um, now, Pigeon, of course, definitely the best. Uh, it supports, you know, more uh, protocols than any of the others. Here you got RoboLinux news, tips, and upgrades. And this is an important one for you to visit because if you click this, it's going to tell you what the next version or if there's a next version of uh, RoboLinux. And it'll tell you news about, the, about our company. And then here you can click. This is the same button on the desktop, which will give you access to everything for free, um, including if you want to run any other Linux operating system, you can get Stealth VM for that and C Drive. Uh, to VM for that, always for free, and free expert tech support. And of course, Thunderbird Mail, which is really the most polished. Um, most people use it. <clears throat> Sound and video. We've really uh, come to the point where Audacious is probably going to be the best. It's uh, it's simple. Uh, it works great. Um, it's got low overhead. Uh, it does come standard here, the LXDE with the GNOME MPV player. We can't remove it, otherwise it removes the whole operating system. Um, here you have a camera, video, viewer, and capture. Uh, Kazam, which is I'm using right now to record um, this video. And of course, Pulse audio volume control, which is important. And by the way, the audio is vastly improved in the 4.15 kernel. VLC, absolutely standard. You got to have that. XF burn is a low overhead uh, DVD burner. Works great. And Stealth VM. Now we've already in, we've already downloaded the installer and you'll see it in the downloads folder. Um, it needs to be, in fact, it must be put in the downloads folder in order for the Stealth VM installer to work. Do not extract it unless you want to blow up your entire operating system. Um, so you just go up here to Stealth VM and you click on one, type in your password. You can't see the keys when you do that. And in a few seconds, we'll be popping up uh, the FAQ page. And here you go to the 8, 9, and 10 uh, series versions FAQ portal. There are 14 Linux operating systems. Boy, am I insane. Um, if you had any idea how many thousands of hours it took to do this stuff, you just uh, you just wouldn't you wouldn't even imagine it. 
Okay, so we're going to go up to version 10 and, of course, LXDE. And here you're going to get full examples, videos, full instructions uh, in the FAQ. So we have, in fact, installed it. So now I'm going to show you something else very interesting. I'm going to, this is my external drive, okay? And what I've got in here is a PC.VHD file, which was created using C drive uh, to VM. And you really want to do that um, because wait till you see just how easy it is to install Windows 10 or 7 or XP. You go open up your downloads folder and move your PC VHD file in there from your external drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause now because this will probably take a little while. It's about 11 gigs, so I'm pausing. And as you can see, the PC VHD file is now safely in your downloads folder. Now, you want to keep a copy of that always on an external drive because one of the things that Stealth VM has to do is to remove this file after it's done converting it into a VDI. Otherwise, you end up using way too much disk space and users don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Note how my external drive popped up when I plugged it in. Now, to get rid of that uh, drive or to eject it or safely remove it, you simply load the file manager and click this arrow here and it, it gets rid of it and I'll unplug it. So now we've got uh, our PCVHD Windows 10 file in there. I'm going to go ahead and do the installation and show you how easy it is. Simply go to Stealth VM, go down to Windows 10 64, which is 2F on the menu. Now, I will pause as it's doing the uncompress and install because I don't want to have you sitting around twiddling your thumbs, uh, even though it probably will only take about a minute and a half on this box. Here we go. And you simply select yes here. It explains everything about, you know, how, what it's going to do, what you need to do, installing your guest editions, and so on and so forth. All simple stuff. Um, take seconds to do. And so now it's going to tell us that it is going to be asking us for our password because we have to be added to the VBox users group. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. After that, it's going to start converting. And this is really hassle-free, people. When you've got a good copy of either XP 10 or 7 or whatever flavor of uh, Windows you decide to use inside Stealth VM or all three, uh, you need to create a PC.VHD file with our free C drive to VM package. Uh, no excuse. I mean, it's free. It's easy to run. We've got videos showing you how to run it. Um, it's it's worth it. Um, you know, a couple of minutes of work and you can always install uh, in fact, uh, it makes it portable so you can move your uh, Windows uh, operating system to any Linux operating system, assuming that it, it supports Stealth VM, and most do. So right now we're converting the image to a VDI. I'm going to go ahead and pause again so I don't waste your time. And it has completed that. It actually did that in less than a minute and a half. Now it's asking us for memory, and you know, we all know Windows is a memory hog. So uh, this box has plenty of RAM in it, so I'm going to give this 4,096, and that ought to be uh, enough for this uh, Windows 10. Okay. So now it's completed. And you can go load it. Of course, we're going to take you to the FAQ again. So you can look at the, uh, it's going to be handy to have uh, available, you know, so in case you want to, you know, fix the audio because your machine doesn't support it through virtual, I mean, yeah, virtual box without making a selection. Uh, uh, everything that you'd need, troubleshooting, it's all here. Okay, so now we're just going to go into system tools. And what we're going to do is load the Oracle. VM virtual box and what we'll find is our Windows 10. Now I always like to build shortcuts and uh, we have a video on how to do that in our FAQs uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pause and create one. Um, yeah I'll just I'll just I'll just create one right now. Here we go. We right click that and simply create a shortcut on the desktop. Now if you want to move that desktop into your menu system you can do that. Um, so um, that's not so hard to do. And now we're going to go ahead and load Windows 10.
and we'll get some of these pesky messages there, but uh, you can stop them from showing up. Um, and here's Windows 10. Now, as you traverse from one version of VirtualBox to the other, you will need to reinstall the guest editions. Um, it's not a big deal. You can do it from devices up here, and uh, that'll bring you current. So it's that simple. Um, you can now run, um, you can switch desktops here with your middle thumb wheel um, anywhere on a free space on the screen. It's kind of cool. Um, one of the things I like to do is um, if I am using Windows, I will just run my Firefox or my Vivaldi or, and notice how I use DuckDuckGo. And by the way, I might make a mention here that you need to be really careful with Google because they're not providing people with anything but censored results now. And so I would highly recommend that you, that you uh, keep that in mind. Um, maybe if enough users ditch them, they'll stop spying and stealing information from everybody. And believe me, it's getting nefarious. So, okay, so uh, now, it, so keep in mind that you can run any Linux app on top of your Windows. And of course, you know, um, of course, at this time, we're going to have to set the view a little bit different. So we're going to adjust the size. It needs an update. <laughs> That's cute. Microsoft wants an update. No thanks. Uh, you'll notice that I have the disk to VHD file here, and it's there for a reason. Um, because when I, if I do want to, you know, make another copy, then I, I can do it very quickly. Um, if I don't want to, well, that's fine. But uh, there you go. And this is a full functioning Windows 10. Um, I am going to start showing you some other things. Um, here from the main menu, you've got your system tools. Now, there's a couple ways to add software. Um, this is pretty interesting. It's the first time we've ever seen LXDE with such a polished software center, if you will. Um, you can also go into system tools and do what, you know, us diehard Nixers do. We use uh, either the terminal, okay, right here, or we're going to use uh, Synaptic over here. And uh, of course, it will require a password to use Synaptic. But I'll go ahead and do that. So now we've got both of them loaded, which isn't recommended because it's just not a good idea to have them both loaded at the same time because you're going to interfere with the DPKG system. Uh, so here you can do searches for whatever you want. Um, one of the neat things about this particular kernel and this build is that it uses SnapD, which means that you can install way, way more applications than you could before. What else can I show you? Preferences. Um, everything you could possibly imagine in here. Now, desktop preferences. Uh, that's going to be something that you could also access from right clicking in the middle of the screen, uh, default applications. This is something absolutely wonderful. It's the first time we've really seen LXDE um, provide you with uh, the ability to really set your, uh, your uh, uh, MIME files. Again, back here to the preferences. Um, <clears throat> Monitor settings, you can do dual monitors and it works great. Um, you'll note that you have a firewall configuration. It's always good to do that. Um, your network connections, you can configure your open box. Obviously the power manager set up hotkeys for your keyboard. That's pretty nice. And you've got your software and updates. Now under system tools, you have your additional drivers here and this is really neat. You'll note that it instantly finds all of the drivers that you would need for your machine. Okay, now I am right now simply using Nuvo, but what I could do is I could install the latest NVIDIA proprietary driver. Um, and of course, from here you have several options. Um, uh, you, you know, you can see them at the top here. But this is just wonderful. And, you know, so no more mucking around looking for printer drivers and and looking for uh, video drivers and so on and so forth, Wi-Fi drivers. It's all automatic and it really works. What else we got here? Preferences. Pretty much been through almost everything. Got Bluetooth manager. Um, I'm not running Bluetooth because I really don't like all that uh, radiation going into my brain. Um, 
let's see here we've been through graphics accessories internet office this is LibreOffice 5 we will be releasing LibreOffice 6 in version 10.2 uh, uh, for all four versions of 10.2 but if you want to do it you can simply send us an email we we'll send you the fairly complicated instructions on you know setting it up um, uh, we were a little concerned because it just came out. We prefer to provide stable software. So, all right, so now you've seen everything that's available. Um, you know, you're going to note that this is really a fast operating system. In fact, I like it so much. I, now that it's got the ability to actually, you know, set up servers, I, I think I may be switching to this operating system. It just, it saves me a lot of time because it's just so fast. Um, And I wanted to show you our one-click installers. Now again, it's these install the same way as Stealth VM. Simply go to one. It'll take you to the free download page. Be sure you get the Series 10 and for your LXDE. And you come back here and click again. And uh, of course, the file has to be in your downloads folder. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to install. Um, once installed, which takes seconds, you now can install all of these uh, one-click app installers. Now, in particular, there are a few that you, if you're not an expert, you wouldn't be able to install uh, the Google Earth Pro um, um, I2P installer. That's a complicated one. Um, we're hosting the Opera file because uh, it's much faster on our servers. That does cost us bandwidth, so keep that in mind. Be nice, be kind to RoboLinux with your donations. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we got stuck putting Google Chrome because some people are stuck on it. Um, um, of course, my suggestion would be don't get stuck on it. Um, there's, you know, Vivaldi, Opera, there's, uh, you know, Firefox, um, there's Tor Browser, which is uh, you want to get safe there and stop being tracked. Or even better, I2P installer. There's apps. I mean, the. I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> they're not gonna. Find, they 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 don't. They wouldn't even know where you are. Uh, that's ghost surfing. So, um, and then the Tor Chat is very good too. Um, fully encrypted. Um, if you uh, are an enthusiast, uh, like uh, many of us next guys are, Wireshark is rather fun to use. Um, of course, I don't use it in any nefarious manner. And one other mention that most users, actually it'll be two mentions that most users miss. Uh, from the main menu, if you go to uh, System Tools, here you have the auto upgrade uh, for your 64-bit LXD 10 series. And let's just run it, and you'll see anytime you want to find out if there's a new uh, version, you can go there. Um, and you also, while this is loading, um, oh, here it goes. It's telling you 10.1 is the newest. If there had been a new one, it would have installed it. Um, the other mention is under Internet, if you go down here to Robo, Robo Linux News Tips and Upgrades, you'll be able to see, first of all, what version you're running. And, of course, you know that anyway because it's on our. we finally put it on our uh, wallpaper, uh, which I'll show you how to change in a second if you want to. Um, here is this is a web page it's going to tell you all the news you know when, whenever there's a new version you know what's going on at robo linux um uh, so let's look at how you do a wallpaper here we go desktop preferences that was a right click in the middle and you can see here you've got background and you've got several ways to deal with your with your wallpaper um, note that you can also put your wallpaper in any folder you want we have them in a uh, folder um, but you would just simply click here and you're going to see all of them and just for fun one of my favorites uh, let's see uh, I'm a big fan of Japan um, where is Mount Fuji there she is okay so now you've got Mount Fuji and uh, and again you could have gone here you could have gone to your uh, Go to your home directory and go down to pictures. You could have picked a picture. Um, and that's how that works. So um, at some point, we are going to ditch the the military industrial complex uh, 
uh, Raptors. Um, it, they just seem to have made sense because, you know, we have Stealth VM and, you know, the Raptor is a Stealth Jet Fighter. Um, but we'll figure out, I guess, since everybody knows we give everything, give everything away for free anyway, we'll come up with something really neat. Um, and that concludes our RoboLinux video for our brand new Series 10 LXDE version 10.1. I hope you have a wonderful day. And may God bless you and your family.